Okay, now how the hell do I get down there? Just walk down the road now, or...? It's difficult to climb the fence, apparently. I have to hop back in the car. Keep driving. I don't know why they'd let me out here and then just make me get back in the car again. Probably the other way, I'm just having a quick look over here. No, that's not it. Alright. By the way, glad you were had glad you had some time to drop by today, Andy. Nice to have you in the stream. God, this camera is not doing me any favors right now. Oh, nobody's got motion sickness watching this. Ugh. back in the car again, I guess. This is a weird way to begin a level. Driving down a road, nothing happening. But oh well. I'll just drive on the wrong side of the road because there's nobody else around anyway. Who even needs a road? Be over here. This means I'm supposed to just walk around now. The darkness had touched me. There was a link between Howdy. us. Always would be. I could feel its presence again, getting closer. But where did the darkness touch me? Is it gentle? I will <laughs> kill your wife. No worries, Andy. You're here now. That's what matters, right? I guess I still have my good flashlight. Mmm, that dark loving touch. In my special places. The dark presence was no longer trying to capture the writer so he could create the ending it wanted. The writer knew too much. He was too strong. And he carried a weapon left behind by Thomas Zane. Something that could hurt it. Now, the darkness was doing everything in its power to simply stop the writer from ever reaching Cauldron Lake and the dark place it came from. Okay. Kinda needs some ammo soon. Maybe I should have used a flashbang on these guys. They were rake guys though, so. Felt like it would have been wasteful. I have used that car. Oh well, too late now. Uh, does what help, Eddie Andy? Not sure what you're asking. Oh, wrong window. <laughs> Miss Page. Yeah, no worries. Just confuse me for a second.
Very easy to drive? Yeah, pretty easy. This doesn't control quite as well as cars in more modern games would, but it's alright. You don't have to do anything fancy with it anyways. It's just a faster way to get around. Based on the signature in the motel register, Agent Nightingale had stayed here in room number two. Your shotgun. Noise. All right, let's check out Nightingale's. What does two the numbering start from? Do I have a key? Is it going to be unlocked? Room textures are all readable. Supposed to go into his room? None of these doors opened. Guess not. Tried them all. Oh well. Moving on. Ooh, can we ramp that ramp? Eha! Wee. Oh, that was action packed. <laughs> Dukes of Hazard, we are not. Right, you have to get out of the car. Okay, let's finish running these people over then. One problem with the car is the camera controls are out of control. Wish there'd been a horn button I could have pushed while I went over the ramp. <laughs> the camera control is awful when you're driving the car. It just like flips around in 90 degree jumps rather than smoothly. Ah, Poltergeist attack! Nope, don't think so. Not today, Sunny Jim! What the hell? I don't know, what the hell? You tell me. Ow. Shin! Ow. Jerk. Probably being attacked by a fridge now. He didn't even kill me by damage, he just pushed me off the bridge. Come on, we can get across the bridge, can't we? Come on, Alan. Do this, buddy. Try to not to fight on those narrow passageways, maybe. That could help. A lot of them, though. Alright. And let's be honest, though, if this actually happened right in front of you, this would be terrifying. This 
would freak me the hell out just a little. Oh god, come on. not see what we're fighting. We're, we're fighting inanimate objects is what we're fighting. What's happening right now is the dark force is uh, basically poltergeist animating objects and throwing them at me. And I'm destroying them with my flashlight. They're basically rising up, twitching, and preparing to throw themselves at me, but most of the time they get destroyed before they get thrown at me, so... That's why it doesn't look like a fight most of the time. The game's pretty dark, so it can be hard to make out the details sometimes. They can't even defeat, defeat me like fair and square, they have to just keep pushing me off of things. Just cheesy. Yeah, the twitching objects is basically what we're fighting. <laughs> I don't trust you, Barrel. My fridge. You're not here to keep my food fresh, and I don't need you. Back up anymore. Crap. Alright, boss fight with a crane. Lift digger. Backhoe, whatever they call these things. I don't know. Destruction stuff. Nice to see you too. Go over this. Come on, buddy, jump. You can do it. I know you skipped all the leg days, but come on. At least we get a nice car now. Get him. Hell? What did I hit? I don't know what I hit. Oh, we're fighting another car. Car Wars. Come on, buddy. Where'd you go? I need to look at you until you die. Slowest, least dramatic battle I've been in in quite a while. Although it does lend a whole new meaning to the word monster truck, doesn't it? The truck is a literal monster! I can't see anything. What the hell was that? Right, let's go towards the shiny barn, I guess. For whatever reason. Has another truck in it. Upstairs? Some ammo for me? Come on, what do you got? What do you got? Get stuff. Get all the stuff.
Oh. I guess a single flare is technically stuff. Not super exciting, though. Oh, well. Killed this guy's truck. Even though we already had a vehicle anyway. Probably damaged. Fresh truck, yeah. Get your fresh trucks. That's what I think about your roadblock. Shotgun. Yes, please. Save that ammo for a bit, though. Save it for the biggins. A puddle of black goop. I do got this. At least until something horrible happens and I suddenly don't got it anymore. But you know, we'll worry about that when it happens. Ah, there's another guy. Away. Candy. Ooh, piece of candy. What was that? Ooh, piece of candy. I am nature, friend. Kind of learning about myself. What am I going to do out in nature, though? That sounds suspect. trying to say about me, huh? Ow. God, there's guys everywhere. Alright, it's time for a flashbang. Bye, suckers. Shit. More flashbangs. That was just rude. Um, well, that the, that's the, must be the flare I used. Okay. Not a new flare. Alright guys, if I wanted to be surrounded by a whole bunch of strange men out in the middle of nowhere, then I would have said so on Grinder. okay? Did I don't want that? The bottom of Cauldron Lake was a graveyard of things the lake had claimed in one way or another over the decades. The dark presence brought them up in its wake, scattering the rotten waterlogged hull of an old boat here, the remains of a long ago crashed airplane there, trees shattered under the impacts, the earth groaned. It didn't even notice.
like how there's just these little emergency boxes on the side of the road full of like ammunition for some reason. Like the batteries I can understand. But just free roadside bullets waiting for anybody who wants them? What the hell? It's weird. Convenient for me, but it doesn't make a lot of sense to the story. I'd expect, you know, ban uh, batteries, maybe some bandages, first aid kit. But bullets? I'll just park here. <laughs> That's how you park, right? You just you just keep driving forwards until you hit a wall. In the end, Barry wasn't going to shoot Sarah. They both knew that. Once she had no chance of catching up to Wake, Barry gave up the gun and sat down on the floor, shielding his face from the merciless glare of the well-lit room. I don't think I'm ever going to see him again, he said in a weak voice. Sarah didn't have it in her to be mad at him. Besides, he was probably right. Oh, that would be beautiful. Please never, never let me see Barry again. Please. And more specifically, hear him again. More to the point. We're going now. Actually. Up here? I need the car back. Bunch of stuff up here, but... Hmm. Yeah, I'm back in the car. <laughs> so I stopped cars. Yeah, I mean, good old physics. It never lets you down. Unless you go over a ledge of a cliff, then, then it's going to let you down real fast. But hey, that's what, my, that's what his last book was about, right? The Sudden Stop. going this way. That's a cliff. Speaking of which... <laughs> we don't need a practical demonstration of what I just said. Thank you. Uh, where else can we try to go? Who sponsored this game, Verizon? Here we go. Here's an entrance we can use. That's all we really need to find a good entrance we can use. <laughs> Ah, uh, weirdest jokes, I'm telling you. That arrow pointing me to. Anywhere near hidden loot. Let's go back. Ow! Uh, don't throw axes, you could hurt somebody. Smarted. Ah, uh, there was a arrow somewhere. Was it there? Okay. There. There it is. There it is. There's our loot. Ooh. A lot of stuff. Okay. Over here. Around front. Rude. 
guys. I'm just here stealing your ammunition. You don't have to attack me. Come on. A jerk. Boffy. Boop. Hello. Thank you, sir. You heard the gospel of the light? This is the front entrance. This is where I came in from. Ground level, but does anyone. What did this button do? I'll probably open the gate like a drive through so they're giving me a shortcut back to the vehicle. That's probably what they say. Yeah, there we go. That's what it was. Be <laughs> rent big brothers. that wore Barbara's face kept crooning sweet nothings sugar-laced with poison. He put on the suit, untied the monster from the chair. The thing in his arms thrashed weakly, but he held fast. He stepped outside, off the pier, and into the dark water, a sinking pinprick of light descending toward a bottom that never came. Well, that's one way to do it. What flashbacks? They're really loading me up. Something's about to happen. I feel like a big fight's coming up. That smashing sound kind of reinforces the idea. Oh, gotta fight more machinery. Ah, pardon me. lasering your equipment over here. Got him. I love all these sh the shadows of the uh, like rapidly moving clouds all over the place. Nice look. Very dramatic. Second... 